Okay, so in this example, I'm going to replace this loading, these three forces and, this, and the, the couple moment, with just a single force, okay, located somewhere on the beam. Okay, so I want to find what that force is in vector form and determine its location from point A. Okay, so in order to do that, I need to find my resultant force, which is just simply adding up the forces. So I start by summing the forces in the X and the Y to figure out what the resultant force is, what these three forces added up would be. So I have 450 cosine 60 in the X direction, and I also have negative 700, that would be sine of 30. Again, that's in the negative X direction. That leaves me with negative 125 or 125 newtons going to the left, adding up these two forces. The 300 is all in the Y direction. So that's the X component of the resultant force. The Y component of the resultant force is going to be 450 sine 60. These are all negative. They're all acting down. Okay. And then I have 700 cosine 30. And then I have 300 acting straight down. So I've got those three forces right here. Sum those up and I have negative 1296 or 1296 newtons acting straight down. So this is my resultant force. Now I want to figure out where to put that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the equation of all of the moments added up. So I'm going to move all of these forces to point A. So I'm going to have uh, basically 2 cross this, 6 cross this, and 9 cross this one, and that moment. So that will be my resultant moment. And I'm going to set that equal to some distance D in the X direction times my force that I have here. Okay, and that's what I have here. So we'll start with the right side of the equation, which is the resultant moment when I move all of my forces to point A. Okay, so I get 2 times 450 sine 60. Again, all the X components don't matter here because they go right through point A. Okay, so I have 2, 450 sine 60, and then I have 6 times 300, and then I have 9 times 700 cosine 30. Okay. Then I also have my couple moment to find the total couple moment. I throw that 1500. Now that's a free vector, so its location doesn't matter. I just add that in because it acts basically everywhere on the beam. Okay. So this is the resultant moment if I was going to move as I move all of those forces to point A. Okay. So uh, two times the 450, six times 300, nine times the 700, and then that couple moment. I set that equal to uh, my force times some distance. Now, I only care about the vertical force because I'm moving some horizontal distance, right? So if I move a horizontal distance, this horizontal force does not create a couple moment about A. So I just take my unknown location X times my vertical component in the Y direction, so 1296. So this is my... Resultant force times the distance I'm looking for equals my resultant moment, which is the sum of the R cross Fs plus any couple moments. Solving this equation for X, I get 7.36. So a resultant force, which is 125 to the left, 1296 down, is located 7.6 meters away from point A, which would be right here. So that force would be essentially right here.